It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of new, and, and you know, new's not always bad. You know, um, I'm looking forward to the challenges ahead. I feel like I got a good group of guys, and, and you know, I'm a racer. And you know, when you look at, at racers and, and you find people that you want to go racing with on, on a weekly basis, you look for guys that are hungry, you know, that, that want to do this, want to be a part of it. Um, and, and I see a lot of, you know, hunger in this team. I see a lot of guys that haven't had their chance at proving themselves, and, and that's a good thing. Uh, you know, no different than me. When, when I first started in NASCAR and Richard gave me a chance, I wanted to prove that, that I could do this. You know, not only to you know, all of you, but to me. You know, and I was hungry to do that. And, and when I see this new team being put together, I see a lot of hunger and a lot of uh, willingness to, to go the extra mile. It's nerve wracking, you know, not knowing for the last three years I've been in the show. I'm not in anymore. You know, we have to go in and we've. You know, I have a lot of confidence in myself and, and, and my team, but nonetheless, anything can happen. You know, it rain out. You know, that, that could be the, the – that could throw out your chance of winning a championship this year. You know, altogether, you know, you miss a couple of races because of rain or whatever else. What did we have, 10 of them last yeah, year? Yeah, it was ridiculous. You know, we could miss a race because of Mother Nature, you know, and that makes you nervous. So uh, – it's going to be nerve-wracking times to get going, but, um, you know, in, in the end, in the long haul, at the end of the day, I think this is all going to work. I, I really think, I mean, just everything, just a little bit from top to bottom, I, I think whether it's um, the PR staff to the, to the engine department to the drivers, I think, you know, we don't, we don't, need, we don't need much. We need to keep that same um, level of performance that, we, that we've had for the past few years, and, and we just need to make it just a touch better. And, the only way to do that is to keep all the same people and, and each person try to do their job just a, just a little bit better and and hopefully that'll get you that last little bit that we need. You know, in 03 we were we were really close to to being where we needed to be and, and battled for the championship right up until you know a few weeks to go in the season. Had a chance to win in in 06 and in 03 when we got to Homestead, but um, you know just hadn't hadn't closed the deal yet. So we just got to make everything just a just a touch better. We've we've got the 
the majority of, of our team back and, and um, you know a lot is the same and, and that's important in just trying to fine tune everything. I think the one thing that's you know one thing that's really cool about that guy about Richard is that he's been around forever he's accomplished so much but when you're talking to him you almost forget that sometimes because he's just so down to earth you know and and I think that spreads throughout the shop you know these guys it, it's it's weird the different feels I was just kind of talking about that between the different shops that I've worked the different places and it, and it relies heavily on you know who's up top and it kind of trickles down it seems like everywhere you're at um, his attitude does that it's trickled down throughout the shop there's a very serious uh, feel about racing in general. They're they're very serious to their approach of racing, but at the same time they're they're relaxed about it. You know, and it's comfortable. You walk through the shop, it just has a real comfortable feel. Guys are all kind of pulling towards a common goal, and they're just here to have fun and go racing. My goals are the same as they always have been. I mean, what we talked about on stage tonight was was making the chase, winning races on the way to the chase, and if you make the chase, you have an opportunity to win the championship, and that's why we're here. You know, I think that. Uh, you could you could set you could say they're unrealistic goals. You could say that that uh, they're maybe they're low goals. Maybe we should just be for the championship. You know, there's a lot of ways of putting it, but uh, you know we just want success. We want to win races. We want to make the chase. And I think with uh, you know everything that we have here, obviously they've made the chase in the past. Um, you know I feel like they've improved over the off season. The testing that we've done so far has been good. The little bit that we've had, um, and I'm just I'm ready to get started. Ready? Yep. Gas.com is a, a great sponsor, and uh, they've been, uh, they're a great search engine, and, and they're going to activate the program. I mean, you know, so I know that that's just going to be a, a huge, huge thing. So, uh, you know, you're going to see a lot of uh, uh, Ask.com uh, logos on the racetrack, uh, not just on the race car, but uh, do a lot of advertising and everything. So um, I think that's going to be great for the sport. I mean, that's something that we, we could use right now. Uh, I spent the uh, last three years at Petty's, which was great, but, uh, but obviously this is a great opportunity also and uh, uh, gets, uh, gets to the point where, uh, you know, whenever I can, uh, you know, hopefully be a part of a, a program that's uh, uh, obviously established in a lot of ways, but yet at the same time, uh, you know, they're, uh, they've got fast race cars and, and great people to work in there, so uh, it's a matter of, uh, matter of execute now. After Homestead last year, I think, uh, you know, like I said, I... I I think everybody, you know, was just uh, from a long year and a long schedule. I think everybody gets to the point where they get kind of wanted to, to relax and just uh, uh, not do anything for a little bit. And I, I, that's what I felt anyway. It's just that I didn't have the the next uh, the next uh, chapter wasn't written yet. Uh, so uh, you know, I don't want to say that I, I lost hope, but I mean, obviously, you know, throughout the the, the Christmas and New Year's, I mean, it was uh, you know you weren't sure I mean, there was going to be. Uh, you know, a something here and a something there, but it, it definitely wasn't uh, what I envisioned. Uh, you know, I hope for for my career. So, uh, so yeah, you're right. It's a uh, it's a new chapter. I get to uh, get to put down, and I get to start with a fresh pen, and um, you know, just got uh, um, a great opportunity. And 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 and, and as a twist of twist of fate or whatever I mean it's uh, it's not just a uh, oh by the way here's something for you to do it's it's a darn great opportunity that, that uh, I do not consider as a, a job like I said a while ago it's this is uh, uh, this is some great great equipment I mean it's it's we all know that you know so uh, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be a lot of fun and